Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will check about the USW Flex Mini, how you can adopt the USW Flex Mini in the Hostify controller or any hosted controller because the USW Flex Mini does not support SSH method. So you have to adopt it either using uh, DSCP option 43 or you can adopt it using the local controller software by installing the software and you can adopt it uh, using the L2 discovery method. So this switch is special because uh, it is a very compact in size and it consists of only five ports out of which first port is a poe in so you can power it the poe switch or you can power it with the type c cable which is provided inside the box and the uh, power support is a uh, five volt one ampere so we'll see how you can adopt it and manage it on the controller So I would like to answer some common questions about this Flex Mini switch uh, as this supports only PoE in or you can power through the USB-C so this switch does not support a PoE out this is the most common question you usually get about the Flex Mini switch as you can see uh, the first port says PoE in so you can power with the PoE switch 802.3AF or 80 the maximum power drawn on the switch is 2.5 watt only also uh, this switch does not support ssh as you can uh, adopt it using the dscp option 43 for example if you have your uh, unify gateway you can simply put the controller ip address in the network section it will detect on the network as a pending adoption if you have a third party gateway like a uh, pfsense meraki uh, microtik any other router you have to uh, convert your uh, controller IP address into hexadecimal you have to add a, a number 0104 and that value you have to put under the DSCP option 43 of your router and apply the changes once you apply the changes the UXW flex mini which is connected on the same letter it will detect for uh, on the controller pending adoption you can adopt it also uh, this switch support uh, stp igmp snooping like other unify switch but it does not support a custom port profile vlans so uh, we will uh, see later on uh, in the video uh, about uh, the vlan thing uh, and uh, what's the maximum power does it draw also one thing like uh, you can feed the uh, usw flex mini uh, uh by using the uap ac pro on your network like your uap ac pro has a uh, uh, two ports uh, primary ports and the secondary ports so you can use the secondary port of your uh, uap ac pro and feed the network from there so it will uh, uh, pass the internet traffic all the ports of uh, so you can feed the network from the uh, uap ac pro secondary port but it does not gives any poe output so right now i'm going to connect my flex mini switch to one of the unify switch uh, the poe switch so i've connected to the port number three of the switch as you can see the led status of the switch is wide so i'll wait for it some time right now you can see it is connected to the 100 fdx also here you can see the connection so we'll check the cable later on so we'll check back on the controller screen and does it show on the controller for adoption or not so i have connected the flex mini switch uh, to the unify switch uh, so it is powering through the poe switch port as you can see here uh, before that uh, i put the dscp option 43 under my networks if you go to the settings network default uh, and scroll down under the DSCP server management you will see option 43 and this is my controller IP address I put down this IP address and apply the changes and the uh, flex mini uh, switch shows up on the controller for adoption by can hit adopt here and it will adopt other thing I didn't show you if you have any third party router on your controller like PSS or, or uh, so, Sonic Wall, Meraki, Microtech, any router what you need to do you have to uh, convert your IP address into hexadecimal format so here is a link of that uh, the converter link I will put down in the description so you can check that so right now if you copy the IP address and convert to X you will get this uh, uh, hexadecimal format so you have to add 0104 and uh, till this thing 41144AB5 and uh, you can uh, that format hexadecimal format you can put under your router uh, on DSCP option 43 and apply the changes the switch will show up on the controller as adoption pending adoption so right now you can see uh, the switch is adopted and connected 
uh, the switch uplink port shows DBE as I change the cable of the switch port and right now it is connected to one DPPS connections and under the port management I can show you one thing uh, as I said the switch does not support any custom VLAN like it does not support any tag VLAN you can use only untagged VLAN for example if you uh, check on the switch port it says uh, tag VLAN management is limited on this switch so it will only support the native untagged VLAN it does not support any tag VLAN like if you create any custom port profile like where you want to pass um, uh, any tag VLAN it does not support on this switch you can check on the other switch ports so it does not support that feature like unlike other unified switch uh, so this is how you can adopt the flex mini switch easily uh, into your controller in my case, I have a control running on the Vostify, so, uh, and also I'm using the Unify router, so that's what easy to get an adoption, you have to just put the IP address of the controller. But in your case, uh, like if you have any other router other than Unify, you have to convert the IP address into the hexadecimal format and then you can uh, adopt it. Also, if you see the switch setting, it does uh, not draw any like the high power right now, it's just drawing 1.43 watt and the experience in GB and you can check the device version 2.0.0 uh, whenever a new firmware update is available it uh, will show up in the controller as an uh, adoption also I can show you you cannot SSH into this switch like for example if I do SSH into this switch uh, like SSH postify at 192.168.1.170 it says it will say the port will be off if you can't SSH into it and right now it, it is not responding to that and i think that's it for the today's video i hope you will like this video please uh share subscribe to my channel thanks for watching bye